Igbo British lawyers give Nigerian government 42 hours ultimatum to return Anandi Kano to the UK. Do so immediately. Hello, my wonderful people, it's happening. Igbo British lawyers have come together to say uh, Unandi Kano should be returned to England. Don't forget that Unandi Kano holds a British passport. He is a British citizen. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, let's look at this very critically. Unandi Kano was not apprehended in England. He was not seized out or anything done to him from England's soil. He came to Africa. He was the one who traveled by himself. He traveled to um, Ethiopia, where, you know, betrayer is part of the game. You know, even Jesus Christ had just 12 people out of the 12. It was one of them in-house that sold him out. So what are we talking about? Anyway, let's get all the details how this really stands. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Igbo British lawyers gives Nigerian government 42 hours ultimatum to return Onandi Kano to the UK. Else, a coalition of Igbo British lawyers have condemned the re recent apprehension of the leader of the IPOB group identified as Onandi Kano. The Igbo British lawyers called on the Nigerian government to release Anandi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, adding that his apprehension was against the civil rights and obligations. The coalition of Igbo lawyers also disclosed that the Kenya government has violated the civil rights of Anandi Kano after he was allegedly arrested in East Africa during his visit to the country. Handling over Handing him over to Nigerian government was against his right as a British citizen and sovereignty of the British government and the group has said. The legal action will be addressed at the International Criminal Court in the Netherlands. The group also asked the Nigerian government to release the, and convey Unandi Kano back to the United Kingdom before 42 hours, else they will get a full repercussion of the consequences of their action. This is taking another turn as the Igbo British lawyers come together to form a strong, formidable team and a force speaking in light with what has gone on recently with regards to Unandi Kano. Unandi Kano was visiting Ethiopia where the government of Ethiopia has handed him over unduly to the Nigerian government. This ought not to be so. And so, this issue is becoming a serious issue and a serious matter. The Igbo British lawyers are putting teams up together and evidences on why Nigerian government needs to not to have done what has been done regarding Anandi Kano. This is unheard of and should never be part of what a government will do, handing over somebody who came to their country. So my people, this is the matter. This is what is happening. Able British lawyers have said what these people did was on was not was not right. It was unfair for them to have you know do done this to Unandi Kano. It is against the law. Against the law. Somebody was in your country, whatever reason he was for. It's not your business for you to now hand him over, according to them, to the Nigerian government. And so they are standing their ground, saying the Ethiopia government will also be prosecuted at the international criminal law where they will look into the matter and know if really what they have done is right or is wrong saying nandi kanu they should not have any right to hand over nandi kanu to the british government as this is not you know somebody's in your country you don't have a right to you know infringe on his fundamental human right call nigerian government he has been there since on tuesday so they nabbed him, yes, uh, put him in their own prison, you know, put him in their own prison. And they also what? Call Nigerian government to say, your fugitive is here. Okay, a fugitive because, I mean, he's running away from Nigeria. Somebody who is wanted, you know, and have not been apprehended is running away is, you know, likely that's the name is called a fugitive. So this is what is happening. And they said, this is not fair. 
is not right and should never be done. Onadi Kano has his rights. And when it comes to visit your, your, your country, it's not a time for you to now become buddies and friends and hand him over for whatever reason. If he was just a Nigerian citizen, maybe you are correct. But he's also a British citizen. And as a British citizen, the British law stands on him. So whatever Nigerian law is trying to say, he has his right as a British citizen. Because as it stands now, there are so many counts that the Nigerian government is ready to place on Onandi Kano. And who knows, things may go from bad to worse, you know. And um, all we can do at this point is pray, number one, watch and see as the matter unfolds. Onandi Kano has been in Nigerian government wanted list. His crime and his sin is that he wants out of Nigeria. And so... A lot of water have gone under the bridge, some ugly, some issues, you know, when you think about it, maybe it shouldn't have happened if Nigerian government have handled the issue well. However, they are putting all the blame on Onandi Kano and not taking responsibility for their actions in one bit. As a government, did you dare, did you, did you, did you consider having a chat with the people? Did you even ask to know how they were feeling? Why do you want out? What can we do? Where do we come in? What do we do? Was there any such question? Was there any such agreement? Was there any, you know, trying to understand why they want out so badly? Did you try to make, you know, did you try to include them in government? Because looking at things today, the southeastern part of the country is the most, I repeat, the most marginalized part of this country. As we speak, the federal government is considering uh, adding two more states to the south-south because the jaws have demanded that the jaws are the oil producing, I mean, I mean, from the oil producing part of the, of the country. These are people who have visited President Muhammad Buhari recently and have said that um, their demands have not been met. And President Muhammad Buhari was the one who acknowledged and said, yes, I saw that in your memo you said you wanted two more states. That is being considered. But the Igbo speaks and is as though who has spoken. So when you look at it, even in appointment, even their governors are dancing to the tune because it feels very much like they are afraid. I don't know what for, you know. So these are part of the issues ongoing today. We would like to hear from you, Onona and Dekano. Uh, we'd like to know what you think. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.